I need to not get burnt here, though. I hate it here! Good afternoon, Poke Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Sim Regulation H video bringing you Yanma. Now, you guys might be wondering, Kevin, why are you running Yanma and not Yan Mega? Well, Yan Mega doesn't get compound dies, and Yanma does for some reason. So, what we can do is run Focus Sash with compound dies and a bunch of inaccurate moves to make them accurate and annoy our opponents. We have things like Hypnosis and Screech both on this Yanma. Tailwind and Protect full support Yanma here. No attacks. We don't need to use them. It doesn't have attack to begin with, right? It's, it's attack and special attack are non-existent. Its speed is actually fairly decent at like 95-ish. So when you go max speed timid and then you have a Focus Sash, it can outspeed the, a majority of the meta. Like the meta is not too fast right now. Like it, it outspeeds technically my entire team, except for Garchomp if you look at it. Now, it's our Tailwind Setter, it's our Screecher, it's our Sleeper. What does the rest of the team do? The rest of the team does damage. Straight damage. We have Garchomp with Ground Terror, with Life Orb, and Earthquake plus Stomping Tantrum. And go for the Earthquake next to the Yanma, because Yanma, uh, Yanma is flying. So, you know, just spam EQs, go for Screeches, spam EQs, go for Screeches, spam EQs. Or, you can go for Screeches, spam E speeds, go for Screeches, spam E speeds with Dragonite, or just go Flying Terra, Terra Blast with Dragonite. Or you can go for Screeches, spam Dark Terra Countdown Cleaves over and over and over again. Now, Hypnosis is fun because it's not 100% accurate, but it's a lot more accurate than it was before. It's like 80 something percent accurate, which is honestly something I'll take. That's better than Sleep Powder, and I've clicked Sleep Powder before uh, to win me games. So I'm okay with Hypnosis not being 100% accurate, but still being accurate enough with Compound Dies. And then last one, at least we have the Fable with Unaware with Safety Goggles. Just to keep our King Gambit safe, let the King Gambit swords dance. Also, it's great into Pokemon that like to set up with like belly drums or like Dondozos, etc. Or even opposing King Gambits with Follow Me and Unaware. And Safety Goggles to redirect those opposing Yanmas. Oh wait, no, Safety Goggles doesn't work against Hypnosis. Lol. Redirect those uh, Amoonguses and those Brelooms, I guess. <laughs> what else could spore? Smeargles. But yeah, that's the team. This team is from Will Tank on Twitter. Uh, Will Tank posted a tweet on Twitter that said, Hey, calling all content creators. And I wanted to uh, play this. This is fun. It's a fun looking team. So make sure to check out uh, Will Tank's Twitter. We'll leave a link to that down below in the description. Send us a Focus Sports love. Let them know you love Yanma. And yeah. Ma. Let's see what happens in today's video. You guys are excited to hit that button. And let's get on to the Yanma video. Sono with the Rain Team. Rain Team plus... Screens plus definitely a final gambit ape here. Okay. Don't get me wrong, final gambit ape sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I'm kind of okay just going Yanma plus Golden Go. We'll get to match their tail and get to put things to sleep. Get to have some fun. Garchomp also goes nuts here. They actually don't have great speed control on their side of the field. I don't hate a Garchomp. I think I want to go Garchomp. It's also good next to the Yanma. No, it's screw it, Dragonite too. Let's rock them both. Now, Final Gambit Ape is our biggest concern, at least for me, it's my biggest concern, but thankfully, if I terrestrialize my Yanma, I should be able to have two ghost types on the field, so they don't have a final they don't have a safe thing to final gambit. So know what you got, what you lead, Grimmy Volk. Alrighty. Not great news for my Golden Go and my Yanma. That's for sure. But you know what? I think I'm going to go for the Make It Rain anyway. And I think it's time to hit a very lucky Hypnosis. Let's do it. I'm max speed. I should outspeed. Are right, they going to set a Blight Screen? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we're starting the day! <laughs> Landing raw hypnosis with compound eyes. With compound eyes. Grimmsnarl is gone, and Volk is half health in two? Oh, baby, a critical hit on Volk. Alright, I'm gonna hard swap my Golden Go out, though. I'm happy that their Grim wasn't able to set up a Reflect, because the rest of my team is physical. There's a mandatory sleep turn on Volk. Next turn, I can set Tailwind, and probably hard swapping one of my scarier Pokemon. 
Okay, Yanma. I see you, Yanma. This feels cool. <laughs> I'm liking it so far. I don't know how convinced I am, but I'm liking it. All right, maybe I don't set Tailwind yet. Maybe I just go for some Screeches. Because if they set Trick Room, that could be bad for us. What's better here? Eh, probably you. I'll go Guard Chomp. I like Life Orb Chomp. Yeah, why not? Let's Screech the Volk. Make it so that EQ next turn definitely knocks it out. And then maybe we Hypnosis to Sinister next turn, just in case they try to Trick Room next turn. They might try to Trick Room this turn. I don't know why they would, but they can. Dude, the Enma kind of slaps, not gonna lie. We'll take, I think you're onto something. They double swap, okay, so they're just clearly doing this for the healing. We'll get to see what their final mod is now. It's the ape, okay. The ape kind of scares me. But I'm happy you screeched. It's a good thing I didn't decide to screech the ape. Do you guys think this is final gambit ape? Or is it like way too late in the game to click final gambit for them? I think I hit protect first. And I sleep the ape. Tianima's irritating. I love it. I love it so much. I just met it and I love it already. <laughs> I have no I have no qualms with the Yanma. I'd probably hate to play against it though, that's for sure. Alright, protect in case they final gambit. I don't think they will, but they might. They also protect the ape. Okay, they're not final gambit ape, so. We don't have to worry about that. We just set up Tailwind next turn. And hit EQ. Volcarona is still asleep. Nice. Oh, uh, actually, do we even have to hit Tailwind? Or should we also just Screech the Ape, give it Defiant, but EQ it still? I kind of like that. I kind of like being an absolute mad lad. Let's do it. The Ape isn't faster than my Garchomp. I'd be so surprised if it was. Let's give it Defiant, but take its health bar. With a Life Orb EQ. Dude, Will Tank, you definitely cooked with this team. This is nuts. I saw this team on Twitter. There was a tweet posted by Will Tank. It says, calling all content creators. And honestly, hey, I was like, hey, I'm one of those. Let's play it. And yeah, here we are. Playing it. <laughs> Alright, we got the world on our shoulders. Living a life of a Torterra. Here's another Screech. Here, I'm giving you a Defiant, dude. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you out. Look, look at that. I gave you a plus two in attack. Too bad it doesn't matter. EQ with Stab, with Ground Terror, Double Stab, and Life Orb. See you later. Bye. <laughs> and a crit to boot. Holy, this is going to be a fun day today. <laughs> My goodness. Yanma, everything that you were intended to do is happening. All of it's happening right now. Live for the world. Ah, oh, Dragon Claw and Screech. <laughs> Battle was canceled. Dude. That's all I gotta say is dude. What the heck? This is so stupid and I love it. On to the next. This is a team here. Meowskarata, Mimikyu, Azumarill, Pelipper, Smeargle, and Flamigo? Okay, so I, I kind of have an idea what they're going for. It's definitely Belly Drum turn one, right? It's Belly Drum and then maybe Coast on the Belly Drum. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe set Trick Room somewhere in there too. I'm going to go Golden Go because that's safe. And I think I have to go something that can take a spores, so that would be Clefable. Um, but I won't be able to stop a Trick Room turn one if they go for it. 
E speed's gonna be very necessary too. Yanma should be outspeeding a Smeargle though. Like, what if I go Yanma Golden Go, right? Bring D Knight in the back. And then I'm leaning a little bit towards King Gambit. Wait, I have unaware Clefable. That's like the best thing into this. Yeah, let, let me bring Clefable. Let me not be an idiot. So I can just redirect all the plus six attacks into my Clefable late game. That's definitely the play. I don't know if I'm bringing enough damage here though. That might be my, my next concern. I should be. Well, we gotta respect our Golden Go and our Yanma a little bit. All right, so they definitely want to lead Trick Room stuff. Fair enough, I get it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, since they can't spore my Golden Go, they can they can spore my Yan my Yanma, but they can. They, I think they're just gonna try to fake out my Yanma instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it rain. Ghost Terra. Hypnosis. That's the one way I stop their trick from this turn. And pray that they're not Lumberry. Also pray they don't hit follow me. If they hit follow me, that's a that's a different issue. But I mean, this is like one of the safest ways to set trick room on their side of the field currently. They hit follow me, unfortunately. It's fine. I was gonna miss hypnosis anyway. Okay, I guess it's about time we missed hypnosis today. <laughs> All right, bring him down to Sash. I'm like Loki. Okay, that these two stayed on the field. Cause these two don't do damage. And Trick Room's gonna go up, right? Nothing too crazy. I think I swap out Yan Mega. I, must, I keep calling Yan Mega Yanma. Fire off another Make It Rain. Go into Arc of Fable with safety goggles. Just in case again they try to spore us. Alright, yeah. Clefable wins us this game. Thankfully we saw what they were trying to do in team preview. So we can assume that their final two is like Azumaro and Flamigo, right? Or something with Azumarill. Sprinkle Fable out. They go for the Spore. Maybe some other time. Shadow Claw. Also maybe some other time. Make it rain again! Bye! Everybody's dead. What does Golden Go do? Just keep clicking the same button. Now, I probably hard swap back in my Yanma for fodder. Unfortunately. Just because I have to reset my specs on my Golden Go. But also, I get to stall Trick Room out for a couple turns here. There's the Flamigo. And here's an Azumaru. Wow! No way. Alright, again. I'm just gonna go for the Hearts up into my Yanma. Honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna Moonblast the Flamigo. Because he was never able to copy the stats over. So the Flamigo kind of just sucks. <laughs> Flamigo's just kind of a mon here. The co-star only works on Switch, and it doesn't work if it's on the field anymore, like, already. So even if they go for Belly, belly Drum here, they won't copy the stats with the Flamigo. See, so yeah, I'll just eat the Flamigo for breakfast, Moonblast. Back in the Yanma. Dual Wing Beat. Okay. Hold on, how is the Flamigo slower than their Azumarill in Trick Room? That is nuts. Like, that is actually funny. That is the world's slowest Flamigo. Alright, they're plus six now. I still got E-Speeds and stuff in the back. I think I'll be fine. I still have Sashes intact. I have so many things to deal with this Azumaro. I'm just gonna protect. And Moonblast this thing again. We'll leave this Azumaro alone to be the sole Pokemon on the field on all by itself. And then we're going to try to sleep it with Hypnosis again. I 
I still feel very confident about this game. Now the one thing that could go wrong. No, nothing. I think I'm so confident about this game. I have so many things to do with this Azumarill right now. They dual wing beat again, thankfully into the Anima spot. I think the trick room ends in like two turns too. Ice spinner, unaware baby. Does it matter? Nice plus six pal, moan blast. This is why Clefable is played guys. This is exactly why Clefable is played. Unaware is stupid. It's great into Dozo too. You get to just redirect all the Dozo's attacks. Like it doesn't even matter. All right. One final turn of Trick Room. All we're gonna do. Hypnosis. I'm down to protect. Hypnosis protect. Keep Michael Fable alive for one more turn. Why not? I think they realize I'm unaware now. Now they got something to be worried about. They probably rotate targets to my, my Yanma here. But again, we have Sash. And in case I don't hit the Hypnosis this turn, I'm just going to keep follow me and go for the Hypnosis again. They're going to burn Terra here. Last turn of the battle, presumably. Or like, last Pokemon they have left. Going for Steel. Okay. That, like, low-key kind of sucks for my team. Not going to lie. Like, the Pokemon I have left all can't hit Steel. So... Almost a problem. They play rough my end, but that's fine. My protect was unnecessary. But we got the sash. We hang at one. Hypnosis. Hey, here we go. All right, their mandatory sleep turn is next turn. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna screech them a couple of times and hard swap. So it's screech here. It's hard swap into our only physical attacker, who does have low kick. Yeah, two screeches and a low kick should be enough. To get that one shot. And now you're negative two. I, I, dude, Yanma is so good. Like, it's so funny how good it is. Like, sure, did we miss Hypnosis today? Yeah. But at the same time, it didn't matter? Not really. We're still doing just fine. And here's a low kick. Negative four is Umro. Doesn't matter how light you are. This is still super effective low kick. And bop. See you later. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I'm having so much fun today. <laughs> this is just a great old time. This is just such a good time. You know what? Let's keep it coming. Let's go for another. Garganical Quaquavel. That's a lot of funny sounding words on the enemy side of the field. A lot of funny looking Pokemon too. Listen, they're going to tailwind, they're going to outspeed me, I'm going to be sad about it. There's no way around that unless match that tailwind. And you know what? Yanma can technically do that. I can match that tailwind. I can maybe do something about that back caliber, but you know, I got two four times ice weaknesses on my team, but I also do have a bunch of steel type of on my team. All right, hear me out. What if we lead... Yanma, Golden Go, I do like King Gambit here if it wasn't for that Quaquawl. Quaquawl's actually scaring me a lot, but I, I, I think I am going to go D-Knight plus King Gambit in the back. I'm going to need to put a lot of things to sleep here. That's going to be my way through. Um, hopefully Compound Eyes Hypnosis is accurate enough for me. <laughs> It might be accurate enough for some, but whether or not it's accurate enough for me is a different story. All right. <laughs> Bowl haircut. Okay, at least you picked it up. Annihilate Quabble. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, good news is I do have Focus Ash, so I should be able to take the hit here. But just in case, I'm going to hit Protect, so I want to keep my Focus Ash. And you know what? I'll T-Bolt. Because they're typically Water Terra anyway. I might as well take this opportunity to get it down low enough. Or even take my one shot here. 
Also, I love shiny Yanma. It's such a cool Pokemon. Yanma in general is such a cool Pokemon. Yeah, nice final game, but maybe some other time. There's the Aqua Step. Okay, nice Aqua Step. Maybe some other time. They really want to knock out my Yanma. <laughs> they don't want to find out. They want to have no idea what it's going to do. All right, focus Ash there. And a pair. That's huge. Okay. Um, if they're going to final gambit themselves, I guess I'm going to ghost Terra, right? And really just soft lock them. Yeah, I'll do it. Do they have a rock, uh, a ground type in the back? Nope. Sounds good to me. Another T-ball into Kukwa. We'll get rid of it. Listen, man, two of us have Ghost Terra. I might as well keep my Sash up if I can, right? And now with that Para, I should be able to outspeed and set up a Tailwind and then outspeed again with my Golden Go. Oh, they have Aqua Jet. Fair enough. But you're not final gambiting me. Maybe some other time. So now they're forced to hard swap that Annihilate. Is what this means. They're not going to stay in here and attack. Which means I can essentially get a hard swap on either one of my Mons if I want to. Relatively safely. And I think I might want to hard swap my, my Golden Go out here. And throw Hypnosis at anything that I can. I like this. This is fun. <laughs> I'm having a fun time. All right. Speaking of hypnosis, throwing one here. Hard swapping now. Let's go into our D night now. That way we get to keep our golden go for the late game. Specs and all. And if we're able to put this Volcarona to sleep, that's really good for us too. It means we're not going to get heat waved. But of course, this isn't 100% accurate. Dragonite the Thunderstruck. That's kind of cool. They're going to protect it. No way they kept this thing in. No way. Wow! I give credit where credit's due. That takes some guts to do. Oh my goodness. That is bonkers. That is actually bonkers. Brother said, I don't even care if there's two ghost types on the field. I'm still going for it. Like what? All right, here comes Bex again. I'm going to put you to sleep. I have to. I think I am going to sword stance here. I don't think they have a fighting type move. They might have like high horsepower, but I might be able to live one. Listen, I'm going for double hypno hypnosis. I have to hit them both. Compound dies needs to come in clutch for me right now. Because there's no other way I win this. What's well, a lie. Technically, my Golden Ghost should be able to beat the back caliber in the late game. But they're going to have to deal with my, my Yanma soon. I'm going to call it Yan Mega all, all video. But yeah, they're going to have to deal with this thing soon. They're going to Terra. You can't Terra away from a Hypnosis, so that's fine. It's not like Spore or anything. And they're Dark Terra here. That kind of sucks, actually. Because, like, now how do I hit it even with Golden Go? I can't. Alright, nice. We do hit the Hypnosis. Fine, that's cool. Yeah, everything has to go to bed. Yanma is going to be the win con here. I think if they're smart, they go for Yanma. Because I'm greeting. I'm greeting just a tad little bit. They do go for the Yanma. Fair enough. Wait, skill shot's bad. Because now they're going to have speed on me. I think I still have a turn of Tailwind left, though. It's not the end of the world. It still kind of sucks. Their defense falling is kind of cool. 
Um. I don't want to trick away my item, but I also kind of just want to attack. I think I'm just gonna attack. And I'm gonna kowtow this Volk. And I have to hope I don't get burned here. I also have to hope the Volk stays asleep, which it does. Good. Whew! If that hit Heat Wave right there, this game would have been very different. Free make it rain now. We still outspeed. We still have health the backs. That's good. Honestly, we practically have, have health the... Oh, they're gonna knock themselves out. Close. And they crit my golden go. Game's still not over yet. I need to not get burnt here though. I hate it here! Oh my god! 30% baby! That's all it takes for me to lose. 30%! Because here's the thing, if I wasn't burnt, this would have been technically a plus three sucker punch. But since I am burnt, it is not. It's not even close. Because now just, they're just going to EQ again. I have to sucker punch, yeah. I would have knocked it out so easily if I wasn't 30% burnt. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, I'm gonna lose this game to Flame Body. And honestly, I mean, I, there, there is a play I could have done better. I could have, I could have just attacked with Kowtow on the back slot that last turn. But still, man, like I didn't think they were gonna EQ themselves. <laughs> GGs, whatever. On to the next. Brother, this is a team. They got a Banet. They got a Banet and Didi Hard Trick Room Rain. A uh, Executor team. I'm gonna put things to sleep. <laughs> I'm just gonna put things to sleep and think about it later. Now, the other cool thing I could do here is smack things with a lot of EQ. So we're gonna go Garchomp right away. We're also gonna bring King Gambit right away just because it does great into this team in general. And probably Dragonite as the last slot here. I'm in her focus, right? Yeah, I should be in her focus. Make it rain would be kind of nice too, but we're gonna hold make it rain. I see that, uh... I see that bear and I want to be a little bit more cautious here. I don't know what Banette does, by the way. Like, Banette is probably the trick room setter. But it's also Banette. The last time I remember Banette was when it had a Mega and it got Prankster, and that used to be fun. I remember you, uh, doing, like, Prankster, Skill Swap, Belly Drum, Psych Up, Explosions with Licky Licky next to the Banette, and then you'd psych up the plus four belly drum onto the Banette and click Shadow Sneak every other turn. That was a fun time in like generation six and seven. Can't do that no more though. All right, they go Pelipper and Como. Interesting. I think I'm gonna try to keep this simple. I'm gonna Screech. I'm gonna Dragon Claw. And that should one-shot it. I hate it here. Okay, that's bad. Are they just a Tailwinding then? Ice Beam! Oh my god, who carries Ice Beam? You have Hurricane that hits Grass types. Off to a great start. I mean, I don't know. It's I don't know what else to say. We're off to a great start. Can't wait to play this game. Well, I can't bring Dragonite in now. Dude, what? Ice Beam, the one thing that you would have. Let's try this again. This time with other Pokemon. Let's Hypnosis you.
This is so bad. It's Dark Terror Kowtow. Mr. Ice Beam over here. They ice beamed and they ice beamed straight. They were like, this is my chance. This is the one time I brought ice beam for Pelipper. And it just smacked me in the face. I can, right, can we assume that specs Pelipper? Because they just went for ice beam again. I guess I can't assume it. All right, nice. We hit the hypnosis. They were fast Pelipper. I know that. See how fast they, ju they just outspeed my Yanma. They might be scarfed. Yeah, that's probably what they are. Well, let's see how much damage we do. If they are scarfed, this should one shot. Nope, they're sashed. No, they're not. They just live that one. All right. I'm going to screech now and then do a sucker punch here. The next turn, I'll double screech and see if my kowtow can knock out a resisted um, Como. The Como has a wake turn here, though. All right, Screech connected. That's good. This is why we have Screech. I wonder if a Sucker Punch is enough next turn. I'm going to go for it. After a double Screech. I know, it'll only be a single Screech. And now would they send out Bennett? What is Bennett doing? Actually, Bennett doesn't do anything to me here. Let me not fear the Bennett that much. Let me Screech. Let me Kowtow. I don't think they one-shot my King Gambit if I'm a Dark Terra. They also could protect here. All right, Yanma might still win us the game. Maybe. They, they could Shadow Sneak us, I guess. That, that is something Bennett does do. Surprise, they brought it. Dude, this is a spicy game. This game started off really spicy, and it's still spicy. My King Gambit does put a lot of pressure on them. Okay, they're going to swap in. Whatever is coming in has to take a screeched Kowtow Cleave, though. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah, yeah. Th there's no way. A screech is essentially a plus. Uh, it's a sword stance in the opposite direction. I don't think Bear takes this. They're definitely setting up hard trick room, though. Oh, Bear takes it. Wow. Shocking, actually. We just sucker punch bear, though, right? Is that all that we, we just have to keep sucker punching until the game ends? And we'll just hypnosis you and sucker punch? If the bear doesn't attack me, I'm not concerned. Like, I don't care. If the bear's protecting, be my guess, it'll die to burn eventually. Fine. What are they subbing? You will die to burn eventually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you are low enough to die to burn. The throat chop. Okay. That's a, an idea. All right, Rain's gonna stop, that's always nice. I could e-speed the bear now too. Oh, wait, unless they have ghost terror, we have to be a little bit cautious about ghost terror, right? That could be a way I lose the game, so I'm, I'm I don't know if I want to I don't, don't want to make that risk. I'm just gonna ice spin here and keep soccer punching. Because again, I don't fear Bennett. That's fine. As long as they see that I'm gonna keep soccer punching, that's okay for me. They go for Poltergeist. That's fine. Whoa! Okay, maybe I have to start hitting this Bennett sooner rather than later. All right, they're one burn away from going down, but I still don't want to risk it. I'm going to go for just an E-speed there. Let me kowtow this Bennett. I swear to God, if they ghost terror right now, that would be literally the worst case. This Bennett did way too much damage to me for me to keep ignoring it. All right, good. They don't go Terra. 
Ghost Terra terrestrializing a 1 HP burnt Mon that will die next turn is like an incredibly stupid risk that thankfully they didn't want to do. Big ol' Kowtow now onto the Banek. Let's get this thing out of here. Slice. Bye. Woo. All right. It's a 2v1 situation. The problem is the one that's left can knock out both of my Pokemon. The good news is they're still asleep. Right? Let's take the good news and run with it. I am gonna just Ice Spinner for now. Oh, wait, we're still in Trick Room? Yes. Oh, so I should probably go for a Sword Stance, right? I'm gonna. I'm gonna greet a little bit. Perfect, still asleep. They're the fastest thing on the field, actually. Unless they were protecting. They were probably just protecting. Free Ice Spinner for me, I'll take it. As long as they can bring it down low enough to where a Sucker Punch can KO next turn, we're solid. Perfect, that's more than enough. That is more than enough. Especially after our E-Speed. E-Speed plus Sucker Punch, that's GG, boys. That was scary. That was a scary game there with the Ice Beam one-shotting my Garchomp turn one, but thankfully we were able to come back from it. Holy, was that a game. Guys, I love Yanma. Wait, hold on. Game's not over. What terror are you? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> the E-Speed might not knock it out, but the Sucker Punch definitely does now. Yep. But here's the Sucker Punch, so <laughs> it's fine. I thankfully had the correct two Pokemon here at the end of the game. Oh, boy. King Gambit kind of carrying us there. But not gonna lie... Yanma did a lot of work. Yanma forced that swap out. Yanma hit all those screeches and those hypnosis is. And we're able to take the game there. Guys, I like I said, I love Yanma. I don't <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Well tank, thank you so much for going ahead and posting this team on Twitter. It was an absolute blast to play, and I hope that you make more teams like this in the future. If you do, add us. Anyway, I'll catch this Sports. Have yourselves a fabulous rest of your night. Let me know what you thought about Yanma down below in the comment section. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow for some more VGC. Bye-bye.